Hi guys, this is Chris Gardner with Paint Right Pros. Today I want to talk to you guys about hiring the right painting contractor to come out and paint your most prized possession, your home. So, but before we do that, we need to do our homework. And so, I want to talk to you about the top three things to do before we even call the painting contractor to get the estimate. It's essential you guys do your homework. It's only going to take a little bit of time. And what this is going to do, this is going to weed out the bad contractors and it's going to bring forth the good contractors. And most of all, it's going to save you a lot of time um, setting up setting up dates to get estimates and then going through the process itself. So let's start out with number one. The first thing you guys want to do is go to the Contractor State License Board. Um, right here, it's on our screen. You can see the website. This is a great website. Um, any contractors that you guys are looking to hire, um, everywhere on their marketing piece and their website should have their license number. Um, just put their license number into their little screen on the website and it pulls up everything you need to know about that painting contractor. It's going to pull up, is his license, license active? Very important. Um, also, it's going to pull up his bond. Make sure he's, got it, he's bonded. Um, should be a $15,000 bond for most bonds. Um, it's going to pull up if there's any um, complaints on them, lawsuits. Also, it's going to pull up workers' compensation. So most painting contractors have employees. And unless a, a painting contractor is showing up as one guy, he should have worker comp, workers' compensation on his employees that step foot on your property. This is very important because this protects the, the business owner and it also protects the homeowner of any potential lawsuits. So very important. And the other thing is it, 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 you're going to check the classification of his license. So... Um, you don't want to hire just any painting contractor to paint your house. What you want to do is you want to hire someone with a C through three. That's a painting contractor, somebody that's an expert within its field. So the best results you're going to get on your house is a painting contractor to paint your house. Um, same thing with framing. You want a framing contractor and so on. Um, that's step one. Now that we've done that, step two, go online and look at their Google, Yelp, and Better Business Reviews. This is going to give you a good idea of who that company is because if a customer takes time out to give their, them a review, that means they did a, a, either a stellar job or not so good of a job. So I think that, that if you read 20 reviews, you're going to have a good idea of who that contractor is, what is his work ethic, and is this someone that you, is this a company that, that you want to do business with? Step three. We need three painting contractors. You guys should always have three painting contractors to get three estimates from. So you want to keep going until you identify three painting contractors to get those estimates from. Now that we've done our homework of checking the state contract and license board, checking out reviews online, and we isolated down to three or more um, painting contractors, it is time now to call the contractor up and let's get an estimate. But um, things to keep in mind, that there are certain things that we need to look for, we need to ask, and we need to do when they show up to give this bid. All right, guys, the painting contractor is on his way. So there's some things that we need to know, do, and ask when he gets here, okay? So we're gonna walk through these steps. The first thing to ask is for a copy of his license, his bond, his worker's comp insurance, and his limited liability insurance. We didn't talk about limited liability earlier, and so that's something that I wanna talk to you guys about. Um, it is essential that whatever painting contractor you hire have at least a million dollar uh, policy before he steps foot on your home. Um, a bond only covers $15,000. So you want to make sure that, that in case there is any accidents that happen, that you guys are covered. We deal with a lot of flammable um, uh, materials, staining and stuff. So you definitely want to make sure that that, 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 that company is um, definitely uh, up to date with all of his insurance information and he didn't cut no corners in his business. So remember, if a, cust if a contractor is going to cut corners in his company, he's going to cut corners on painting your house. So ask for those things up front. The next thing that you want to ask for is um, to walk the house with them. You want to make sure you guys have a clear understanding of expectations. Then this is crucial. So if a painting contractor tries to give you a bid over the phone, that's not, that's not an accurate bid. It's not a fair bid. Um, if he comes and stays for 10 to 15 minutes and gives you a quick, quick bid, he's out of there, he didn't thoroughly walk the house. So you want to make sure that the, the contractor takes the time to walk the house and you walk it with him. You know, make sure you're walking that job with him. Point out any areas of concern. Make sure that your expectation and his are the same. Make sure there's a clear understanding of the job, what's being painted. 
is the walls being painted, ceilings being painted, closets being painted, baseboard, doors, trim, cabinets, any dry rot being removed. So those are just some things to think about. Um, the other thing is, what's going to cover up? What are you going? What's the contractor going to cover up outside? Um, is he going to cover up the plants? What's he going to do with the plants outside? What's he going to do with the patio furniture outside? The trellis outside? Make sure that everything's going to be covered up. Next thing is prep. What prep work is going to be done on the house? And make sure that, that you're staying with them and you're understanding exactly what prep work they're going to do on the house because prep is key. The other thing you want to ask them is, what's the time length on the job? You know, is, are they bringing out a full crew? Um, is one guy going to do it? What's the start and completion time? The other thing is payment. And payment is crucial. If you have a painting contractor that asks you to pay it in advance, run. No, I'm just serious, but really run. So um, even deposits, guys, if, if, it's, if the job's under $10,000, my personal opinion is, is that the customer shouldn't pay until that job is complete. You do a thorough walkthrough around the house. You're happy. And then that contractor should take payment then at that time. So you guys want to make sure there's a clear understanding of expectations there. Something to look for. Professionalism, guys. Um, a, a contractor that he's running a business, um, especially in the repaint industry, uh, we're in the customer service industry. We need to be very service uh, friendly. Um, was he on time? He or she on time? Um, what was the demeanor? Um, was it professional demeanor? What kind of estimate did he give you? Did he give you a written formal estimate or, or, or a typed formal estimate in a timely manner? Did he return your phone calls? These are things that, that could give you some red flags or give you a peace of mind with that. The other thing is, and this is crucial guys, is what paint is going to be used. Okay. I'm going to put prep and paint together here because a terrible prep job and it Cheap paint will get you a paint job of about three to six years. Probably 60% of the bids that I do um, are, painting, are, are houses that's been painted three to, six, three to six years ago. I shouldn't be doing a bid yet on their house. It shouldn't be ready yet. But because their painting contractor used cheap paint and the prepping wasn't there, we're replacing dry rot that shouldn't have happened, and we're painting the house again. So you want to make sure that you're getting at least 10 to 15 years out of, out of your house being painted. So you want to ask your painter, well, what kind of paint are you going to use? You're going to use Kelly Moore, Sherman William, Benjamin Moore, uh, Dunn Edwards. There's a lot of great paints out there. Make sure you're using at least a 15-year. Most good contractors are going to use a, a, a paint grade that's 15-year warranty and above. Um, also, the, the prep work, they're going to do good prep work. So you want a good paint job that's going to last. Um, also, you want to, you want to look at his knowledge um, within his industry. You know, Is he familiar with the current color trends? Um, right now, if you go to our website, www.paintrightpros.com, I just put up a blog um, that could help you guys out with color trends. If you're struggling with colors, go check out our blog. Um, Sherman Williams, the big, the big guys just released their color trends, and I was happy to see they correlate with what I'm seeing out in the field, so really excited about that. So do they have a good understanding of what colors are trending? Also, paint is doing some really neat stuff today. Um, we could do stuff with paint today that we could have done five years ago, three years ago, 10 years ago. Um, paint's really evolved and it's, it's, it's vastly moving. Um, so you want to make sure your painting contractor is staying up to date and current with the right, um, with the right paints. For example, elastomeric paint, you know, it's um, it, it, three years ago, it was really high in the market four years ago, but now it's just, it's, we're noticing it's fading a little faster. We're noticing some things about it. So you want to make sure the contractor is staying involved and he knows what these paints are doing and he's constantly meeting with these reps and educating himself within this field. So I really hope this helped you out. If you are thinking about hiring a painting contractor, um, I'm the owner of Paintwright Pros and I would be sincerely honored if you guys would call us up and give us a chance to, to give you an estimate on your most prized possession. Uh, we feel that every bid we ever do is a blessing and um, there is no job too small. And we are licensed, bonded, insured with limited liability insurance. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to go to our website, www.paintwrightpros.com. We'd love to hear from you. We'd be honored to, um, to come out and give you a bid. I hope this helped you guys out. And please follow my advice on this. It's going to produce good results. If you've got any questions, feel free to get a hold of us. I'm Chris Gardner. Thank you.